Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. This time we will practice scattering with some Sketchfab models. We have picked a couple of 3D apples. Of course, here's due credit to the author for these fantastic 3D models. All we need to do is download these and choose GLTF as the file format. In Maverick we will use the Import Sketchfab button to bring the first model in. Let's pick the GLTF file and choose the ambience we will import into. We will make sure that the scale is right and in a couple of seconds the model and its materials will be rendering. Let's give a proper name to the model for better identification. Now let's bring the second Sketchfab Apple in with the Merge button. As always, we make sure that the scale is right and skip merging of cameras when prompted by Maverick. Now let's go to the green apple and scale it down to about the size of the red one. Remember that we must reset scale or reset X form for scatter to be aware of the true scale of the apple model. Again, let's give a proper name to the model for better identification. Let's delete the scene's floor and create a plain primitive. Let's apply a new scatter modifier to the plane. Let's plug the red apple to the source 1 plug and the green apple to the source 2 plug. Now let's edit the scatter node so the apples float over the plane. To this end we will crank up the maximum Z translation attribute. Let's hide the plane primitive as we don't want it to be visible or cast shadows in the scene. Let's randomize the rotation in all axes of the apple for more believable poses. All that's left is to choose an interesting viewpoint. Keep in mind that that surface option in the orbit drop-down list is an excellent choice to navigate heterogeneous scenes like this one. Let's increase the total count of apples for spatial density. Let's move around one of the apples until we're happy with the viewpoint. Now let's enable depth of field for a more photographic look. Let's click on the IBL in the Ambience Composer and set a black direct vision color. Let's create a hard spotlight to simulate sunlight. Let's place its position with the Normalite tool and adjust its intensity. Then we will assign a projector to our spotlight for a more interesting, less flat effect. To this end we will drop a projector from the library on our light and then adjust its spotlight cone until we like the result. We may switch off the IBL to better appreciate the contribution of the spotlight. Do not forget to save the camera position before moving away. By adjusting the spotlight cone we will also see the light stencil cast by the projector more clearly. Let's re-enable IBL and DOF. We always encourage users to use Light Mixer for final touch-ups. And the AI Denoiser for a super quick, super clean render. A beautiful photo real scene with floating apples thanks to our new scatter feature. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.